Good morning and welcome to the E class of Saint Denis High School, Adipur. Today we are going to study science of standard eight. So children, I am your science teacher. My name is Neelam Kiswani. So children, I hope you all are well. Okay, and let us study about the first chapter of this session of the science that is. crop production and its management so children crop production and its management what we will study in this chapter that is what is crop hum kis uh, plant ko crop mein uh, consider karte hain okay then what type of production and how this production is happening okay in which season is it it is happening that we will we are going to study then how the now the crops are formed okay they have been grown now how these will be managed and supplied to the consumer okay children so in this chapter step by step we are going to study about the crop production and its management so children plants can make their own food by themselves can we make our food by ourselves no in our last standard okay that is seventh standard first chapter we have studied about the photosynthesis we all know that how the process of photosynthesis happens in that carbon dioxide water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll the photosynthesis happens and they produces their own food so children due to this only they are known as autotrophs okay so these plants they are making their own food animals including humans cannot make their own food from the food what we get we get energy which is utilized by organism for carrying out their various body functions such as digestion respiration and excretion etc so in this way the food is most important so children then we have to study in this chapter that what are the processes a farmer does to do the production of any crop so let us see the 1.1 of first topic of this chapter that is agricultural practices in our earlier days that is 10000 bce okay no matter were people were they they were used to roam here and there and they were used to eat the plants leaves crop uh, their fruits twigs in this way they were wandering in group from one place to another in search of food and shelter they ate raw fruits vegetables and started hunting animals for food okay later they could cultivate land and produce rice wheat and other food crops so in this way by roaming from one place to another this they why they were roaming for the food and shelter food bhi chahiye aur shelter bhi chahiye ki dhoop se bachne ke liye for having precautions for their own life for not getting hunted by the animals okay rain fall se bachne ke liye flood se bachne ke liye they need some shelters okay and food also so in this way later stages they started producing the crops in the fields like rice wheat and other food crops so in this way the agriculture was born so let us see agricultural practices when plants of the same kind are cultivated at one place on a very large scale 
इट इज कॉल्ड अ क्रॉप ओके कोई भी एक सिंगल प्लांट वेन इट इज ग्रोन ऑन अ वेरी लार्ज स्केल ओनली दैट वेराइटी ऑफ प्लांट वेन इट इज ग्रोन ऑन अ वेरी लार्ज स्केल ओके एट द सेम प्लेस ओके थोड़ा इधर थोड़ा उधर नॉट दैट वे द होल व्हील शुड बी ऑफ दैट व्हील और बाजरा एक्सेट्रा सो व्हेन द प्लांट ऑफ द सेम काइंड आर कल्टीवेट एट वन प्लेस ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल इट इज कॉल्ड अ क्रॉप हियर यू कैन सी द व्हीट क्रॉप ओके इट इज हैविंग अ प्लेंटी ऑफ क्रॉप कल्टीवेटेड देयर ऑन अ वेरी लार्ज स्केल एंड हियर यू कैन सी the we no any other crop is grown over here so that field containing that particular plant in that big large area then and then only that will be considered as a crop for example crop of wheat means that all the plants grown in a field are that of wheat so crops are classified on the basis of the seasons in which they grow in our india there are variety of seasons we all know that is winter summer and monsoon so in the in the conditions of these weather the crops have been differentiated into several groups the two major groups are kharif crops and rabi crops okay so let us see india is a vast country the climatic conditions like temperature humidity and rainfall vary from one region to another nowadays you might have been observing that in saurashtra side okay the rainfall is there but in kach it's not yet started okay so in this way there are variety of climatic changes in our india i am just talking about the only gujarat it, it as it varies as we go as the distance increases okay the climatic variations are being observed more now variety of crops grown in different parts of the country okay so despite there is diversity two broad cropping patterns can be identified so these are kharif the crops and rabi crops so children due to the different types of weather uh, climatic weather okay in our country kahi humidity zyada hai kahi humidity kam hai kahi rainfall zyada hai kahi rainfall kam hai due to that the crops have been found in different different places with a good yield good yield means bahut acha sa crop usme formation aata hai the whole a uh, good crop we are getting in that area so in that way they have bifurcated the seasons the places now let us see what are the kharif crops the crops which are sown in the rainy season okay that means they need more water so who needs more water let us see the rainy season in india is generally from june to september so in the rainy season rice that is paddy maize soya bean gram and cotton are the kharif crops so kharif crops are the ones who are grown in june from june to september why they are grown from june to september only because they need more water and more water ka milega when they will be rain for here are some examples of the kharif crops rice maize cotton gram they are generally planted in june and harvested in october rice maize for cotton and groundnuts are example of kharif crops so here here you know also the same rice millets maize now the rabi crops the crops grown in the winter season are that is from october to march are called rabi crops for example rabi crops are wheat gram pea mustard and linseed so in this same way the crops are grown in which month from october and harvested in march okay so beside these pulses and vegetables are also grown 
during summer at many places because the these vegetables or these pulses do not need that much water so that they can grow easily in the summer season so these are the rabbit crop examples okay wheat barley green peas gram so they are generally planted in november and harvested in april or october you can say we barley and gram are examples of rabbit crop here also i have more examples given this is a wheat field wheat crop crop is what when there is a large amount of same kind of plant grown at the same place okay we oat chickpea mustard almond and broccoli now this was all about the season wise which kind of crops have been grown so now we came to know about that how we have to grow the crops okay. which type of crops we should grow in the seasons and which season we should grow the different kinds of crops now we will be just having one uh, look on the steps of the basic practices of crop production what does the farmers do when they grow the crops okay let us see basic practices of crop production that is agricultural practices first what they do they prepare the soil hum uska base pehle prepare karna padega second sowing karna padega fir adding manure and fertilizers then so pani dena padega is irrigation then protecting from weeds means there are unwanted plants which also grow in the crop so that should be removed then crop to grow ho gaya is harvest karna and then have to store it properly or the stoning and then this all will be get wasted and as much of energy also get wasted economically also it will be very harmful so children till now in this we have studied about what is crop what are the earlier agricultural practices why these plants only produces the food okay do by the help of the photosynthesis then we have also studied about the different kinds of two major groups of crops which are grown in two different seasons then these practices now we will more study about these practices in our next video Till then, thank you and have a nice day.